nothing. <laughs> that European qualifying mark is 3 minutes 42 exactly, and the man that has it on hand timing from a couple of weeks ago, Robbie Fitzgibbon, goes into the lead. He's got the red back number as the leader on the Power of Ten rankings coming into this championship. He's uh, got the Phoenix Club in Brighton. They were having a great afternoon here at the moment. Two men through to the 800 metre final. One woman through to the 800 metre final. Neil Curley behind him. And then it's Andrew Smith, North Putsy and Brownlee. So I must say, it's all very tense down here at trackside for some of these athletes. The whole winter season hinges on the uh, outcome of these season finals. Neil Cooley, based in Glasgow, wanting to run in Glasgow. Fantastic summer last year, but missed out on the European Championships. Now coached by Mark Rowland at the Oregon Track Club. But he's behind Neil Cooley, Smith in third. Only three guarantees going through. And Fitzgibbon has taken it out quickly to try and secure some of those three non-automatic qualifying places as well. And if you're wondering what's going on in the middle of the track, it's not the world's no, largest game of house track. We have shot for finals coming up very soon. So coming up to 1.30 as Fitzgibbon, the long-term leader, with the red back number, takes the round. 93.4 at 600 metres for Fitzgibbon. And there's a gap starting to open up between fifth and sixth. So we have three from Scotland in this lineup. They'll be desperately wanting to challenge for places in Glasgow in a couple of weeks' time. And a reminder to you that if you want to spectate, we're down to the last few hundred tickets. So get on the website tonight. It's given still leading through 800 metres, 204, 57. So 62 second pace, they're operating at around about 351 as the finishing time. Five men now starting to edge oh. away. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Saul Sweeney at the back of that group was very, very close to the quite high mark of 3,000 metres. He's had a chest problem in the last couple of weeks, but he's starting to bunch now. Paul, the other athlete, making up that five in the breakaway. Still Fitzgibbon, he was half a yard clear after a yard. Inside the final third of the race. And remember, five into three doesn't go. He's made it as hard as he can to try and get him five of the clear. Sol Sweeney, coached by Andy Young, trains with Laura Miller and Gemma Rinke. Now moving up onto Neil Gurley's shoulder in third.